Hello everyone, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, then subscribe to this channel. The ascent and fall of Rome's incredible chief Julius Caesar, a significant figure in Roman history, is famous for his tactical successes, political changes, and focal job in the progress from the Roman Republic to the Roman realm. Brought into the world on July 12th or 13th, 100 BCE, in Rome, Caesar's life and vocation fundamentally affected the course of Western history. His heritage perseveres through his sensational ascent to control, his focal job in the defeat of the Roman Republic, and his persevering through influence on the world. Early life, Gaius Julius Caesar was naturally introduced to the aristocrat Julia family, a respectable yet not especially well-off heredity. His dad, Gaius Julius Caesar the Sr., was a congressperson, and his mom, Aurelia Cotta, came from a conspicuous family. In spite of his respectable legacy, Caesar's initial years were set apart by political precariousness and individual difficulties, including his dad's passing when Caesar was only 16. Caesar's initial schooling and profession were impacted by the wild political environment of Rome. He started his political profession by conforming to well-known pioneers, acquiring support through his speech abilities and political associations. In 84 BCE, Caesar wedded Cornelia, the girl of an unmistakable lawmaker, which cemented his political collusions. Ascend to power, Caesar's ascent to noticeable quality started with his military and political accomplishments. In 68 BCE, he was chosen quaestor, a monetary official in the Roman government. His initial accomplishments in this job laid the basis for his future political vocation. Caesar's desire and ability were clear as he sought after a progression of public workplaces, including Aedile and Praetor. One of Caesar's most huge early accomplishments was his tactical mission in Hispania, advanced Spain. As legislative leader of the territory, he exhibited uncommon initiative and vital sharpness, getting his standing as a fit military commandant. His outcome in Hispania acquired him the help of the Roman Senate and the military, making ready for his future victories. In 60 BCE, Caesar shaped a political partnership known as the Principal Magistrate with two strong figures, Pompey the Incomparable and Crassus. This casual alliance permitted Caesar to sidestep conventional political cycles and solidify his power. The magistrate's impact was instrumental in Caesar's political decision as emissary in 59 BCE. Military triumphs and the Gallic conflicts. One of Caesar's most striking accomplishments was his success of Gaul, cutting edge France and Belgium, which he itemized in his Commentari de Bello Gallico, editorials on the Gallic conflict. The Gallic conflicts, battled from 58 BCE to 50 BCE, were a progression of military missions that lengthy Rome's region and cemented Caesar's standing as a considerable general. During the Gallic conflicts, Caesar confronted a progression of considerable rivals, including the Helvetii, the Germanic clans, and the Gallic tribal leader Vercingetorix. His tactical techniques, including the development of fortresses and the utilization of mental fighting, demonstrated exceptionally compelling. The attack of Elysia in 52 BCE, where Caesar crushed Vercingetorix and his powers, denoted an unequivocal second in the triumph of Gaul. Caesar's triumphs in Gaul brought him monstrous abundance and military help, further fortifying his political situation in Rome. His prosperity likewise made pressure with his previous partners, especially Pompey, who saw Caesar's developing power as a danger to his own impact. Struggle with Pompey and the nationwide, the political elements in Rome started to move as Caesar's power developed, the primary magistrate when a wellspring of common help began to unwind. Pressures among Caesar and Pompey heightened, prompting a breakdown in their union. In 49 BCE, the Senate, lined up with Pompey, requested Caesar disband his military and return to Rome. Caesar's reaction was emotional and disobedient. On January 10, 49 BCE, he crossed the Rubicon Waterway with his military, a demonstration of resistance to the Roman Republic's position. This intense move lighted a nationwide conflict between Caesar's powers and those faithful to Pompey. The nationwide conflict saw a progression of fights and political maneuverings. Caesar's tactical ability was obvious as he got a few key triumphs, remembering the clash of Pharsalus for 48 BCE, where he crushed Pompey definitively. Pompey escaped to Egypt, where he was killed, and Caesar sought after him to the Egyptian court. 
Caesar's visit in Egypt was set apart by his association in the political interests of the Ptolemaic tradition and his relationship with Cleopatra VII. Tyranny and changes. Following his triumph in the nationwide conflict, Caesar got back to Rome and was selected tyrant. His ascent to outright power denoted a defining moment in Roman history. Caesar ordered a progression of changes pointed toward tending to different social, financial, and policy-driven issues. These changes incorporated the redesign of the schedule, prompting the Julian schedule, obligation alleviation for poor people, and the rearrangement of the Roman areas. Caesar's arrangements were well known among the average citizens, however questionable among the Senate and the Roman world class. His centralization of force and the title of despot perpetuo, tyrant forever, were seen with doubt and hatred by a lot of people. Death and Inheritance On Walk 15 to 44 BCE, Julius Caesar was killed by a gathering of representatives drove by Brutus and Cassius. The death, known as the Ides of Spring, was a reaction to fears that Caesar's power would subvert the conventional conservative arrangement of Rome. The plotters would have liked to re-establish the Republic, however rather dove Rome into additional disarray and nationwide conflict. Caesar's passing prompted an epic showdown between his allies and rivals. Ultimately, his grandnephew and took on child Octavian, later known as Augustus, arose triumphant. Augustus's ascent to drive denoted the finish of the Roman Republic and the start of the Roman realm. Julius Caesar's inheritance is significant and multi-layered. His tactical victories extended Rome's regions, and his political changes laid the foundation for the future domain. Caesar's life and demise represented the finish of the Roman Republic and the change of Rome into a majestic power. Julius Caesar stays a transcending figure ever, known for his tactical virtuoso, political sharpness, and sensational life. His effect on Rome and the world is massive, forming the course of history and affecting the improvement of Western civilization. Caesar's heritage perseveres through his accomplishments, changes, and the emotional occasions of his life which keep on enrapturing antiquarians, researchers, and general society. As a formed pioneer and was molded by the powers of his time, Julius Caesar's story is a demonstration of the intricacies of force, desire, and political change. Thank you for watching.